Okay. Just wondering. So, hey, everybody, whoever's viewing. A oh, golden talk, everyone. So, <laughs> yeah, this has been too long, man. Two weeks off D is too... Well, uh, yeah, two weeks there's off. There's no intro much. music, Dad. Dad. What the heck? You forgot no. the biggest part. No, we haven't started that yet. We're just kind of hanging out here for a minute. So. Okay. I have way too many devices on my... I have the laptop, my tablet, my phone, my mic, my Bluetooth keyboard. Hey, Riley. What's up, man? My Bluetooth keyboard and then my battery pack plugged up to my Bluetooth keyboard because my keyboard is about to go dead. If I had, could take a picture of all this crap that I have in front of me. So. Oh, you see my new shirt? Oh. I don't get it. I'll, t I'll talk about it in the stream. So, anyway. Well, so, we're in the stream right now. I know. So, the well. The timer is going. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to restart the timer. So. All right, so oh, well, yeah, our, ch our chats are not staying in the uh, window. That's they're weird. Not? Adam, they're staying in, um, in my thing. Are they? Okay, well, they're not showing up I'm in at, at least on the Twitch thing, they are. Okay, on Twitch. So so yeah. both of Legion's posts are up there? Are, are showing up on, on Twitch, yeah. Okay, they're just not showing up on my screen. I mean, I can see them off okay. to the side on the, in OBS, just not on my little display for some reason. That's weird. So anyway, okay. Um, so let me. How about we Sorry, go ahead? Dude. You ready to get started? I, I know it sucks to work this this time and that. Well, well for you, it's it's still based still like it's about afternoon there, isn't it? Because uh, because let's see, we usually start at around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's close to afternoon there, isn't it? All right. So let me let me switch this over, okay? All right. You ready to start? Let's do it. All righty. Hope. All right. Pray I hit the right button. I got the right button. Now I'm going to restart the timer. Actually, I'm going to restart the timer once the music's over. You dance, I jump. I gotta move over. I keep forgetting about my. Uh. Hey everybody! Welcome to episode forty-nine of the Gene Pool Variety Hour. I am Sean. I'm the old guy. I'm the old fart of the group. And the guy on the other screen is. And I am Connor, and I am the slightly injured um, co-host of the group. Whoa! Every every single time we have an episode you say you're injured something's injured every single time last time it well, was your wrists now what's broken this, my neck like um, last last night night um nikki came out came out of, of of a bad nightmare um and 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 when she comes out out of a bad nightmare she oh, she aggressively comes out you know and, and right like, right her arms a bit yeah she she freaking karate chopped me in the <laughs> neck last night <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, and, and that look, and dude. So that, all day, I've had this big crick in my neck. And, yeah. And this is the only really comfortable position. Okay, gotcha. Um, so, uh, for those who are joining us for the first time or, um, you know, a welcome back or for the first time, whatever whatever it is that uh, um, Agador Spartacus. might be. No, no, whatever. No, uh, uh, Agador Spartacus, right? Uh, oh, when yeah. he says, welcome back or, or for the first time or whatever. Um, oh, boy, we're uh, a couple of ADHD dudes. We just happen to be father and son, and we're the only nerds in our house, or have traditionally only. Oh wait, I gotta restart the timer because we're gonna try to stay on time. Yes, please. Oh, sure, sure. We're um after two weeks, we're gonna stay on time. Sure. Come on. Bam. Okay. So, uh, father son duo. We're we're nerds. We're the only nerds in our house. And growing up. Or him growing up, I've already grown up, kinda, 
and uh, we like talking about a bunch of nerdy stuff. He's moved off to Ohio. I'm still down in Georgia, so we started doing this. With um, my beautiful wife. Yeah. Oh, I am, I am so lucky. So... Uh, well, we get together. Saying. We get together every every Friday night. Although we've missed the Try last two to. Friday nights, um, and talk kind of what's been going on with each other to kind of catch <laughs> up with each other actually, and usually have a, a random like a geek question of the day that we do, and we kind of debate different geeky things, and then we review a random movie. We ro- roll dice each episode to pick a random movie to watch and review or just talk about. I don't know if you call what we do oh, reviews. Yeah. So that's kind of what we do. Thanks, everybody, for, for popping in. Um, and we always kind of start with, hey, what's what's kind of the update? What's been going on? And we've had three weeks since the last episode. So yeah. we have probably so, a decent amount to talk about. So what's been going on with you? Oh, yeah. So let's see. Um, um, one one birthday is um, is coming up next, um, in a couple of weeks. Right. And... And the Sextons are um, are throwing me a, a little informal birthday shindig um, at, at their place on the twenty fourth. Right. Um, pizza, cake, sodas. Gonna play some games and, and then finish the, the, the night off with a couple of Studio Ghibli films. A couple of what? Studio Ghibli. Him. Um, those those anime movies. Um, I um we watched. Oh, okay. Right, right. Up. Yeah, yeah. S- Spirited gotcha. Away. Oh, okay. Valley of the Wind. Howl's yeah, yeah. Moving Castle. That um that company, that kind know. of stuff. Got you. Got you. Got you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Cool. Um. Oh oh. Fun fact. Yes. Fact, Liam Neeson did um did voice acting in one of those movies. Didn't you say Billy Crystal did voice acting in one of them as well? Yeah. No, that was Pokemon, wasn't it? Was that a Pokemon one? Yeah. Okay, I don't remember. Oh, anyway. Um but but um um but anyway, him hey, Lee Neeson plays some pl- plays uh, um uh, the bad guy in Ponyo. He oh, plays okay. Ponyo's dad. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, you have no idea what that is. Zilch. <laughs> I'm just drawing a blank. <laughs> so, um anyway, I I I'm hey, so um, I'm so used to my camera the way things were set up before. I was so used to being way over here. And now that things, I've got another. Now you got to be. I've got a. I've got, a, I, I've got another sign, and I have to kind of split the difference here. And so I'm like, this is a completely weird angle for me. So <laughs> it's taking me a while to get used to it. Okay. Anyway. Um. um any any I'll, other I'll kind see of. See what else. Um. Um. I had to. I had to to survive basically two weeks of of plant shutdown by myself. Right. Um, right. Was, yeah. Yeah. Um, this on uh, this, uh, this whole um computer chip shortage coming mm-hmm. in from from japan really really slowed us down right right and so uh so that kept you pretty busy but now things have kind of settled down right oh yeah okay. i think that things have gotten back in relatively into the norm okay they, um except for some reason um um our um our second shift crew this week their badges wouldn't work getting them in the door so me and jeff basically had to do the work of Two shifts within mm-hmm. a, within an eight, eight hour period every day. Right, right. Okay. Hey, hey Nikki. Yeah, hey, Dad says hi. Hi, Sean. <laughs> uh, she, she, she got me canes. Ah, that's some good stuff. Huh? So he's going to be eating and, and nom nomming while we're while we're doing this. So while you get <laughs> while you get your food all set up, I'll go ahead and talk about what's been going on with me. So we missed the last two episodes because of me. It's my fault. Um, one week I was in Seattle, um, and, uh, for work. And then the the other weekend, oh, I was on vacation. I was up in the mountains with Connor's other two brothers and his mom. So we had a great time in the mountains. Uh, Mitch actually did a little hiking with us. So, um, Connor's not paying any attention. So I usually tell him these things. So... Uh, that's oh, what kind dad, of what we've been. Dad, real quick, real quick. <laughs> yep. Um, um, Nikki was wondering if um if um if you would like t- to see her um her double arm. Um, um, uh, um re- I remember when I was talking about it. Yeah, last not time. not right yeah. now. I mean, we can do it later. We can do it after the stream. Sure, that's fine. But not, not right now. It'd be real quick. Okay, Connor. That's cool. Okay, babe. babe bring I'll it in. Okay. I was waiting for a cue. Okay. <laughs> The glove. Nice. Nice. Good job. She um she um 
he um he says good job hub him just use some some of my crafting foam as it get it down pat right okay cool yeah mm -hmm. and that, that's good you that like you had it. that crafting foam i worked hard on it, it took me two weeks two, two weeks, weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so um sorry about that i completely off <laughs> track she, now she's just proud of it um anyway the, um, um i, what do I don't know what about I, me well, I was trying to talk about me because you were too busy getting food, and then we had to talk about that, and so I have no idea where we're at. So just go. I'll just sit here and have a, and, and sip while you do whatever you're going to do. Um, you remember? Um, let's see. You see the timer? So we're dad. Dad, I'm I'm not gonna stick to I'm not gonna stick to that timer. You know I'm not. Whoa, we got just got some major feedback. So anyway, go ahead. Anyway, um. Um, oh, and um, and then apparently this week I have been torturing Nikki with my snoring. <laughs> um, so um, apparently I've gotten into a really bad habit of snoring, and she says it's like a lawnmower, like okay. like a rusty old lawnmower. So, so I've been trying everything I can to fix it. And, yeah. Um, and um and and I tried I tried the um. The uh, the double pillow method um, mm -hmm. that helped a lot. Yeah, but then I got sick with the cold and everything, and got all flemmed up, and right. it got worse again. Okay, right, um, well. and, and so I've been trying to get it all out of my system, but it's been rough. So basically, this weekend, just so, just so she can get some sleep, I'm going to be sleeping out here on on the day bed. Okay, all right, it's cool. So, um, anything um, else? Let's see. Um, oh, me and my D and D friends, um, mm -hmm. um, Riley and and Jason are going to be playing Borderlands Two together. You know, um, you should stream um, it. Um, Jason's. Um, um, I'm planning on it. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, this um, dead air is great for radio. You, you you can cut this dead air out in post. Uh, no, I don't do that anymore, remember? Because this is live. I cut it and make a <laughs> podcast out of it. I told you that. Okay. So, Oh, yeah. That's, anyway. why we, that's why we try to make this more of a regular podcast during the stream instead of all the side stuff because that's included in the podcast. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I, that's I, why. I, I honestly forgot that. I'm That's sorry. why I keep trying to redirect you, but that's okay. So, anyway. I'm sorry. Um, anyway. Um, let's move on. Um, How about it? Yeah, yeah. let's just move on. Okay. I mean, you talk about your stuff. Well, I tried to, and then we had to talk about other things. So. I'll well, talk about it now. So, uh, I was out of town for work. I was out of town for the mountains with a uh, family vacation. We went and picked up uh, Connor's uh, younger, one of his two younger brothers who's actually through hiking the Appalachian Trail right now while he's waiting for enlistment. Um, and so, had a great time. Um, but other than that, uh, not many... He's been on four weeks now, isn't he? Four oh, it's weeks? it's more like five weeks. He's he's probably... Well, he's over 300 miles on the trail so far. Dang. So, um, he they the guys that he was with, they stopped in town. He got something the other night, and they all got food poisoning, so I had to take a day or two off the trail. Cause they got sick, but so they're getting back on the trail. Hopefully today. Luke too. Yeah, Luke too. So, so that's that's been going on, and uh, work is work. Uh, personally, uh, Destiny, grinding Destiny, but I've started playing a little bit of Outriders, which uh, some friends are doing it, and it's kind of think about if you took like a Gears of War. Um, bullet storm kind of vibe with the loot shooter type of uh, Borderlands mechanic. That's kind of what it is. Um, it's interesting, but it's it's kind of boring. The writing is bad. The graphics look like kind of Xbox 360, early Xbox One Fallout video uh, graphics. It's just so. It's. I think it's much more fun when we're playing as a fire team, but playing by yourself, with just the campaign, is kind of, eh, meh. But uh, tonight, because <laughs> after this, after this podcast stream, I'll be streaming on the channel, but I'll be game streaming with my buddies. We do a, a drunk watch night. We hashtag drunk watch because we sit around. It used to be always Overwatch. Now we've done other things. But tonight, I think we're going to be streaming, um, truck championship racing or something like that. 
It's basically, think if you were doing NASCAR or Grand Prix racing with 18 wheelers. Um, and I did a test run today, did a, a test lap to the training lap. My yeah. first curve, I did a complete 360, and, or actually a complete 540, and was pointing back going the wrong direction and couldn't figure out how to turn around. Um, and all they right. all said they had the same problems. So I imagine it's going to be a really bad night of racing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's we're going to be chaotic. It's going to be completely chaotic. I imagine we're going to be just driving around crashing into each other more than we are actually racing. But we're going to do that tonight. Uh, I might jump back into doing some border, uh, not Borderlands, um, Destiny. I'm kind of Iron Bananas this week. Uh, Iron Banner. We call it Iron, Iron Bananas? We call it, yeah, we call it Iron Banana. We don't call it Iron Banner. We call it Iron Banana. There's actually somebody, somebody's actually made a, a like a logo that's like a, 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 a spin off of the Iron Banner logo but it's bananas and like what we call it iron banana you can actually get iron banana t-shirts so um, what what sort of iron banana I, it's I'm just because it just that. it just kind of runs out that way and it's not i mean it's the, the whole destiny community people call it iron banana <laughs> um so that's kind of what's been going on game wise um couple of updates hey um guess who short story got picked to be in the Legion of Dorks anthology. This guy. Yours. This guy. That's awesome, Dad. So now I I, I can't I, believe you're getting published before me. Because I submitted something before you. Uh, I ha, how many years have been have been trying to talk you into writing a short story for this thing? Two, two years now. I and I, and, I, I haven't even been part of this uh, script for one year yet. Yeah, you have because you were, we were talking about it. You were in it last year. We neither one of us did it last year because I, I kind of got a late start. You got a late start in the community, but you had two months, three months to write a short story last year, and then you had an entire year this year. So nobody to blame but yourself on that one. So you could have done it, and I encourage you to. You're the writer in the family, not me. I, exactly. I'm, I'm talking about writing in general. I've been writing since high school. Yeah, my yeah my my, the chat stuff is really weird looking tonight. I I oh I know what happened. I downloaded a new theme that I'm thinking about playing around with, and it's trying to use that theme's chat in the chat room from what I see. Gotcha. So it's, I don't really understand this whole streaming stuff. I figured it out and got it working, and then I stopped trying to think about it. So I don't really know how to do it anymore. But anyway, so that's kind of what's been going on with us. We wasted 20 minutes just talking about that stuff and looking at props and watching you eat and stuff your face. <laughs> so um, anyway, how about we do something else? How about we talk about the geek question and jump into that? You want to do that? All right. All right, cool. Sure. Uh, let me find my geek question. I want to ask you a bunch of questions. And I want to have them answered immediately. And that's two I'm for two. I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions. Um, I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions and, and want them answered immediately. Okay, so... How close? How close is that? You're getting to closer, but there's uh, really... Anyway, so what's the question? Um, Who is your favorite low-powered superhero? And why? Yes, and why, obviously. Go. You always go first. Okay, cause, but... Because usually, um, usually I don't even have an answer, so... Um, um, uh, do you know, um, uh, do you know what low powered means? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Tell me what, what, what you mean by low powered. I know what I think by low, low powered, but by low powered heard him. Uh, um, 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 I mean, someone who has minimal power, but they still, you, um, um, but, but they're able to use it to great skill. Kind of like, um, um, Gambit from, mm -hmm. from, from, from the X-Men. His, his thing is basically him in. Um, imbuing a bit of kinetic energy in, into small items and throwing them to cause basically a little bit bigger than a firecracker explosion. But but right. he makes up for that that that, that by use um, by using his his skilled hands with cards to to give him a wider range and then also martial arts skills with his bow staff. You know, so mm -hmm. so he's still an effective superhero with, with, with even with minimal power. Right. And, and then also kind of like daredevil of the guy basically just has heightened human senses hey hook. still a freaking badass what's up dude actually you know? do actually do that but okay oh yeah do that i'm sorry <laughs> i i don't know these people 
the the only, the only people I know are, are the guys who come in from from my group. I know, and these are people from my group. So go ahead. Anyway, anyway so anyway, you're still um, talking about Gambit, um, right? Base, oh no, um, da- uh, 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 Daredevil. Daredevil. Right? Well, um, base, um, basically those type of types of people who who, who have of minimal um, enhancing or 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 outgoing powers yeah, you know man. Um, but but still use it to great skill yeah you yeah. know um, 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 another example is nightcrawler guy basically just okay just has a teleporter thanks thanks ability. for taking my answer i appreciate that how about you let me how about you let me take my answer you knew what my answer was no i didn't actually i forgot what your answer was well I that's swear. not that's not my fault that you forgot so anyway, moving on. I, 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 I was just giving him as I was just giving him a, as an example of a low power superhero. That's it. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. That's why I picked I'm him. I'm sorry. Please forgive me, Father. I love how Please you steal my thunder. Me, Father. Please forgive me, Father. Please moving me. on. How about anyway. you answer your question now? You've given um, the example. You've spent more time giving examples than you have answering the question. So well, that was polite I'm, so, I'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> we are not doing good today are we well it has been this is what we missed two weeks so it's we don't know what we're doing how could we have forgotten in two weeks how could we're you ADHD. how how could you have forgotten all the things that we <laughs> that we have planned in two weeks i'm i'm adhd <laughs> no okay uh uh, Midge, let me let me show you my shirt. Okay, hold on one sec. It it says Reinhaus, wieners and balls. This is one of my new favorite restaurants in Tacoma when I go up to work. Uh, my other one is Red Hot's, the hot dog place. You guys have seen me wear my Red Hot T-shirt. This place it's a German restaurant, and uh, had some of the best German food. Had some. Um, habanero and cheddar brought, uh, worst and some bratwurst and some sauerkraut and beer pretzels and great beer. And it's like a, it's like a kind of, of a German hunting lodge. Um, but then there's a huge bar, which of course is still kind of closed down because the whole COVID thing, but they've got like, you know, handheld shuffleboard and bocce ball and this kind of stuff. So their, their kind of catchphrase is wieners and balls. And so I got a shirt. This is Reinhaus Wieners and Balls. So there you go. So that's what that that's what the shirt says. Uh, he knows what although the although I would be in, I would be interested I would be interested to, to see what kind of restaurant <laughs> would be named that <laughs> that you mentioned. So Heinehaus. Anyway, Heinehaus. So <laughs> it's, I, it's kind of I, the other I, side. I, I, I feel like it. I feel like it'd be some some version of. Of Hooters, hers, but um, but but, but they're accent, accenting the book. <laughs> but anyway, you know? so uh, that was that was a huge chicken that that we just chased. I don't know a why. German a German chicken, a big wish, old German wish, chicken. I, I wish I could somehow do the chicken in German. That would be interesting. Um, I, I, need I, a, I just got a okay. bad image in my head. So, oh, no. Some somebody, <laughs> okay, somebody needs to submit to me a German chicken sound effect. I need one. So if you can figure out how to do a German chicken sound, then send it my way. So anyway, so so the question, so the question, the question is, what is your favorite, or who is your favorite low-powered Powered superhero? superhero? Or kind why? of okay, go. Instead of explaining um, over and over and over, tell me your answer. Um, um at first I, w- I was gonna say Gambit, but. Um, but now that I'm thinking about it, I actually think it's. Uh, excuse me. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Talk about an obscure superhero. She, she I've got never me heard. A sprite. I mean, I'm even sorry. Sprite even me burp. even Mitch doesn't know who that superhero is. <laughs> I've never heard of that one before. Shut up. Anyway. <laughs> so, who is it? Um. Um, honestly, it's Iron Fist. Okay, why? Because um, be uh, because at, at its core, um, at its core, the Iron Fist ability just basically 
helps him punch harder. You know, there's no other special meaning behind it. So, so, so he has to accent it with, with his apt and wide array of martial arts skills, you know? Uh-huh. Um, um, the, the Iron Fist is, um, is a signature move and, and can do a lot of things, but it's just a singular power that's basically all just punch based um, uses. No, Mitch, I was talking about he started to announce his favorite low powered superhero, and as soon as he said, and my favorite low powered super power superhero is, and he burped. So that's what I was talking like, about. Urgh. Of course, I know you know who Iron Fist is. I'm like, Everyone you don't know who, who Iron Fist is. You just don't know who Urgh is, right? So that was the joke. That was the joke. Um, um, <laughs> um, one of my guys says that Howard the Duck is his favorite. Yeah, well, you know, that technically is a superhero somehow, but um, I never saw. How is, it's just, it's just a, it's just basically Daffy Duck I'm, who drinks. I've never I've never seen Howard the Duck, so I don't know anything about Howard the Duck other than it was a really bad movie starring Leah Thompson. So. Who's Leah Thompson? <laughs> no worries, dude. So, um so okay, uh, why Ghostbusters. So why Iron Fist? Why Iron Fist? Why Iron Fist? Well, one, his um his story is is both cliché and unique at the same time. You now know? you remember, so you're saying that he is your favorite low powered superhero. Yes. Okay. Well, why, he's def- why? I I, de- I definitely would see him as low powered. Um, I don't see him as my favorite by a long yeah. stretch. And of course, I have to admit that my opinion of Iron Fist is severely tainted by the Iron Fist Netflix show <laughs> and the guy that Ex- they got to play Danny. That that you need. You need to do some research because um because Iron Fist can be pretty useful. Sure, I get that, but uh, I got to tell you, the only way for my opinion of Iron Fist to change is for them to remake that or do a uh, an Iron Fist movie with somebody else and not a rapper to be the director and the producer of the show. Didn't didn't you see the second season? It was so much better. It was still bad. It was less bad. I mean, season two was less bad than season one. It was still bad. And he was bad. So the only way, in my opinion of Iron Fist as a character is going to change, because I can't get that guy out of my head, is for them to remake it or do a movie of him with a completely different actor and someone who actually knows what they're doing. Dude, I forgot who it was, but they had a rapper that was the producer and the showrunner of this show who had never done a TV show before. Yeah, yeah, what? Why? Why did that happen? I mean, like, why would they have that dude do that? I mean, why? Yeah, it's like, hey, um, Kanye, dude, um, I need you to do some brain surgery for me. Can you do that for me? Can you hook a brother up oh. and come hop? You know, so, um, I, you know, I don't know, Legion. Hit him. I, um, I think Vibe, um, Cisco is pretty powerful. You know, the guy, the guy can freaking open up reaches to other worlds, and and then also, um, blast people with, um, with, with. with Dimensional energy, and know? and 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 I would I would I can I can see the point here as being low power because early on in those early seasons, he basically only had memory he could flashes, just memory you know? he could just do the flashes and stuff so he had an ability, but he hadn't figured out how to use it. Later on, then yes, I can clearly see he's much more powerful, like you're saying. Oh, yeah. Um, I just didn't finish watching the Flash. I had I haven't watched the last. You piece. need to. Dude, it's it it's so good. There's no, there's too much cheesy in it for me. Um, it took me a while to get used to the guy that they got playing Barry Allen. I kind of got used to him. He's okay. I love Cisco. Um, too much cheese. Too much, you you can never have too much cheese. It's like you're not even my father. Oh, no. you can. It's well, look. No. There's too much. The 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 whole no. the whole love story stuff with Barry and what's her name and all that. Iris. I, that's that's uh, uh. every show. I could every take superhero show has that. Um, it's um, true. Air, um, Arrow Air does that with absolutely, and I will one hundred percent own that. That I'm 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 definitely an Olicity fan. So I I accept that I am being a hypocrite right now. Completely one hundred percent. I just don't. They don't. It doesn't do anything for me, right? Um, and. I, it just got too convoluted with all the multiple Earths and the different timelines and the flashpoints and stuff. And I'm like, eh. And at that point, I started kind of losing I interest do, in all those um, shows. I actually do do agree with you there. That was just Legion. He's um he, he's not that good combat wise, you know. Right. I mean, so 
So, you know, my understanding of Iron Fist is basically he can fight. He was trained in, like, monk kung Kung fu stuff. And and he has that weird fist that power, but that um that um I, I think I think I think officially it gives him um the power of a hundred monks. Right. Okay. So he's got one really cool, you know, Hadouken punch <laughs> with a fist. Hadouken. And so, what else can the dude do? He um he can run run a, a multi billion dollar company. So can Tony Stark. So can Elon Musk. And so can Jeff Bezos. So can Bill Gates. And Bill Gates is anything but a superhero. I mean, come on. He's a nerd like us. Okay. So can Bruce Wayne. I mean, Elon Musk is the closest thing we got to Tony Stark. Okay. So He's uh, um I s I still think I still think Elon Musk is somehow a Tony Stark fr- from an alternate hit uh, dimension because mm-hmm. because that's a whole big thing in all these comic book worlds. Yeah. Anyway. All different universes. So, uh, so Their anyway, timelines. so Iron Fist is your guy. Yeah, Iron Fist okay. is, is my guy. Um, I, I, my opinion of Iron Fist is forever going to be tainted with the Netflix show because of the Netflix. Yeah, yeah, we get so, it. So, um, you know, you know even I, even I, I, I can say the same thing thing about um about Luke Cage. Right. Even in Mar- well, yeah, I, I agree. Although that had. That show had a cool vibe to it, and I like that vibe of that show. Cool vibe, yeah. wasn't It wasn't well, well um, portrayed, you know. It, actually, it was. Um, it, I thought. I thought it was one opinion. of the best. I thought of the shows. I thought that Jessica Jones was the best. Same here. Daredevil and Luke Cage kind of tied, and then Iron Fist out on a back street corner somewhere. Right uh, now. Um, Punisher was really good too. I really like Punisher. So, um, but Punisher um, um, is, is is Punisher canon with um with with the NMCU? I, why are you asking me canon and with superheroes? I I, I I'm not. I, 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 what I, I mean is is um um is um are there references to other to the the people from from the other shows in Punisher? Because, be um be if, if, if I remember correctly, the um the character who plays Punisher was was before, and I think Daredevil, and, and then in Jessica Jones for a little bit too, right? Mm mm mm. I don't think so. He was. He, um, I think. He, um, are you sure? I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure he was in Daredevil, wasn't he? Yeah, as the Punisher, as the guy that played the Punisher, I think. Yeah. It was kind of a blend in there, but I don't know. That, I don't know. That, I don't remember if he was in Jessica Jones. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've seen those shows. I liked them and I watched all of them, but it's been what two or three years since those shows have been on. Yeah. So, um, but but anyway, hey, um, 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 that stuff helps. Um, helps prove it if it's canon. If there's references to the other people and and even other locations in the other show, right? Um, it's um, it's all over from in um, in the CW DCU, right? Now, now, Duxer, I would completely agree based on what you're describing that Howard the Duck would be forever the most underpowered Marvel character. Um, but the question is, what, who's your favorite underpowered superhero? So I think Howard the Duck looks and sounds stupid. So I'm not interested in him it's, at all. So it's that's why he wouldn't Daffy be my Duck who drinks. That's that's why he wouldn't be my answer. You know, just because of the the nature of the question. So as far as uh, is it okay? Is it my most turn? Most unique. Is it, know, I, I was say yeah. Howard the Duck is the most unique. I just like the fact that he was captured on Guardians of the Galaxy and he was part of the collector's <laughs> collection. I thought that was funny. Um, but anyway, Once you go duck, you're out of luck. There you go. So uh, is it my turn? Or are you done? Have yes, you finished? It's, it's okay. your turn now. All right. Yep, you're good. And and look, I, although, so I'm just completely <laughs> ignoring you. Um, I'm sorry. Th- I have to admit, look, I like superheroes. My knowledge of superheroes is limited, okay, from the movies, the video games. I actually learn a lot of the lore and backstories of a lot of superheroes from what? Do you remember? From from, from Marvel's Ultimate Alliance. From Marvel Ultimate Alliance, those games that we would play together for hours, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, Days, and, even. And even, even, even in those games, Iron Fist was kind of boring. <laughs> He was okay. He's basically a good fighter, yeah. hand-to-hand fighter. Um, but so so Mitch my, loves him, I think. Yeah. Hang so on. so mine is my knowledge is limited 
in terms of the whole canon of superheroes, I definitely don't have the encyclopedia of knowledge that Mitch does, uh, uh, Bones does. Um, but I would probably say, because he's always kind of intrigued me, and I've kind of liked his character in the movies that I've seen, um, and I liked his character in the uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance and everything, is Nightcrawler, like you had said earlier. Now, really, he's he's acrobatic, and he can teleport. That's basically it, right? And, he's got and he has the, a tail. He's got the prehensile tail, but that just kind of goes with his acrobatics and moving around. I mean, he's not known as a f- much of a fighter, uh, for at least from what I've seen. Um, I think he's more more um, reconnaissance, you know? Yeah, and, and so I, if I had a superpower, the superpower I would want would be teleportation, I think. I think that Why? would either either that or invisibility. Um, I just, you know, dude, um, if I could teleport to work every day and save myself uh, two hours a day in driving, that'd be awesome, right? Uh, um, I know the feeling. So, you, right, I know you do. Um, I just think it's a would be a cool skill to have, and it's not something where I would be tempted to use it to beat people up or hurt people or anything like that. I mean, I guess you technically could use it. Could and, use it to get rich. You could. Same thing so, with same thing with invisible. In, same thing with invisibility. Inside a bank vault, and right? Just grab all the money. All the way. Wait, do banks still have vaults right now, or um, or or is it all digital? Um, I'm assuming they still have vaults, but I'm guessing it's going more digital. I I don't know. I don't work in a bank, so that's I don't just, know. That's just something that's always intrigued me. Oh, another random question for you. If um, if I just want to hit well. the button, so I'm going to hit it again. Go ahead. Um, um okay, okay, this. this this is this is not a fun fact. It's a random question. Um, um, my Mark fingers Hamill, on the, my fingers at the ready on the button. Go. I'm waiting with bated breath. Mark Hamill is um um is a great actor. Um, who who's on who's on both good stuff on camera and as a voice actor. Yeah. Um, down to it. What do you think he'll um, he'll he'll be he'll be more famous for? His on camera roles or his voice acting roles? Because he's done a lot of stuff in both, and um, and a bunch of iconic characters in both. Two words. Luke Skywalker. Done. Mic drop. That's it. Uh, it, it, it I, listen, I, it's not going to matter. It's not going to matter for you. What Joker? I, and I get that. And I get that. But Luke Skywalker is so much more. Him as Luke Skywalker is so much more of an iconic role. Than his voice as the Joker, he's got a fantastic voice for the Joker. I'm I'm not I'm not shortening him on shorting shorting him on that. But it's an animated character; it's just his voice. So not as many people know that he does the voice of the Joker as they know him as Luke Skywalker, right? I and guess, he didn't yeah. and he didn't have he didn't have any other major iconic TV or movie roles after that. So he's forever going to be the trickster in Flash. Oh, whatever, Con. That you, you... he was also well, he um, he um, he was also a main character in um in, um in a Cartoon Network show for eight years. Okay, again, a voice actor behind animation. Okay, yes. All right. Um, it's not like he was Han Solo and Indiana Jones. Okay, Harrison That's, Ford has yeah. got some major ones that he can lean back on. Luke. Uh, Mark Hamill's just got Luke Skywalker, you know, and I'm not faulting him for that. I'm just saying that's just how his career has played out. You know, Carrie Fisher has done a lot of things and a lot of some pretty impressive movies, but she's going to forever be known as Princess Leia because that was her iconic role, and she didn't have any other iconic recurring roles like Harrison Ford did, right? Yeah. So that's that's why I'm saying that Luke Skywalker will completely forever be Luke Skywalker. I mean, Mark Hamill will forever be Luke Skywalker. More so than he will be the Joker, even though he does great as that voice, right? I mean, I don't fault him for that. Oh, oh, fun fact, fun fact. Yeah. Um, um, one time, I'm um, um, in um, in in, in one of the you're on a chicken roll, man. Episode, um, in one episode of of one of the um animated Batman shows, Mark Hamill did uh, did the voice of Joker. The trickster and himself all in the same scene. It's like an it's like an episode of uh, um, um, Scooby Doo. You know, they were like, they had like one guy 
that did like all the voices of all the male characters in those those shows that weren't yeah. you know Fred and Shaggy and this kind of stuff you know yeah it's the same guy every week different guy sometimes two or three guys and they're like okay dude you're not even trying to change your voice for these two characters but still I mean I, I mean, mean it's, 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 it's like it's like Peter it's like Peter Dink it's like Peter Dinklage in, in, in Destiny. You know, I just, I forever will have as an image of Peter Dinklage doing the voiceover for the ghost uh, as just, just, sit, just sit, sitting sit, at a room drinking sit, coffee. Sitting at a folded table with just like a, a, a folding chair, you know, like a card table with a single like, you know, light hanging over him, just a bare light bulb with a script in his hand and a mic in front of him, a cup of coffee and a, and a, ashtray full of cigarettes just with butts everywhere and just sitting there going I think it came from the moon <laughs> and just kind of wrap eyes up guardian I'm going to always have that image in my head of Peter Dinklage's voiceover for the for ghost of Dinklebot <laughs> Dinklebot so, that needs to be a shirt that is that is the best image I can come up with for that by the way here's another chicken um and I have mixed, and we haven't even gotten even close to our movie yet because I haven't even finished talking about Nightcrawler yet. Yeah. But speaking, spe <laughs> we like ch chugging some moonshine over there. What the heck is going on over there? <laughs> you guys, people, do you people see that 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 barrel, that fifty-gallon barrel with a, a like a bottle nipple on it that he's got? What the heck is that? <laughs> <laughs> what okay anyway water about my nose oh my god uh to quote to quote from parks and rec that's the child size you know the size that if you liquefied a five-year-old child it would fit in <laughs> so so anyway um the there's a movie on there's a netflix original called i care a lot um with peter dinklage in it and um, mom and I just watched it, and it's it's a good movie. It was it was a really well done movie, but it's one of those movies where there's two bad, two central characters that are bad people, and the one that you kind of hate the most actually kind of comes out on top a little bit until the very end. And you, so I had mixed feelings about it, although it was a well done movie. So back to Nightcrawler, because we still got a movie we got to talk about. Back to Nightcrawler. Um, you know, and we're actually making good time. So he's he's acrobatic, not really a fighter, doesn't use weapons or those kind of things, and he can teleport. Um, so it sounds kind of boring for a superhero. Not tattoos. Um, yeah, I mean, and so I mean, yeah, I could see him as going in intel gathering and all that kind of stuff, but I don't see him as like I don't see him as being someone that's part of the Avengers or the X Men that are fighting and fighting and doing all the big stuff. Because although to be fair, um, 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 in in that X Men, um, in that X Men movie, he kicked butt in the White House. Oh, that's true. That's true. He because, he totally obliterated the freaking Secret Service. So it, so it's not so yeah, but his skill so much there is was really surprised because he could teleport, catch him off guard, kick him in the head, and teleport away. You know. And what, and it wasn't like is the best weapon. You know? Yeah, it wasn't like he was going toe to toe. So I mean, yeah, the, but there are definitely superheroes that are more powerful. Okay, there's there are the Scarlet oh, yeah. Witches out there and that kind of stuff. They're definitely more powerful. Uh, the, but I've just always um, the people who the people who who, who who can literally bend reality. Yeah. Are, you're saying. And, and, but I just kind of like him, and I, and it must be an architect. And, and, and this is it kind of goes back to Outriders. Um, it must be an archetype that I like of just kind of the quick in, quick out, you know, kind of thing. Because in Outriders, there's different classes that you can play. I think there's four different classes. I think four. Correct me if I'm wrong. Which is which is always weird, right? They give you four classes, four classes to choose from, but you can only have a fire team of three. Why not? If you're going to have four classes, why not have a fire team of four? I don't understand that. But anyway. More but strategy. The, but, you know, there's the Devastator, there's the Technomancer, there's one other one, and then there's the Trickster. Pyromancer. And the, Pyromancer, there you go. And then there's the Trickster. 
and that's the one that I chose to play, and I kind of like him. And he kind of zips in and zips out. He can he can teleport behind people. He can slow time and do that kind of stuff. So it's kind of a Loki. similar similar archetype to you know Loki or or uh, Night Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler. Although Loki's much more powerful, seeing as how he's a god, you know, or hey, technically not a god, a demigod, he's, he's or higher. No, no, um, 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 in um. In um in the MCU, I th- I believe he um he's 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 a technically a god. Adam he um he he was just perceived as, as a god on Earth because because he um he could do things that don't know that no one else could. You know. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway. But, but 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 in reality, he he's just a higher. He's just an alien. Yeah. You know? I... It was like Thor's an alien. He admitted he, he's an alien. Yeah. Well, anyway. So, so Nightcrawler would yeah, be my answer. Was a... Nightcrawler would be my answer, I guess. And and yeah. I'm sure. And, 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 I'm and sh- it's a good answer. And I'm sure that there are tons of superheroes out there that are super low powered that I actually would like if I knew who they were. I just don't know who they are. So. Oh. Of the ones that I, I know. I just thought of another good one. Okay. What's another one? Ant Man. Well, he's his is basically the suit. Well, yeah. I um, mean, it's it, it's it is the suit. He's a complete screw up <laughs> without the suit. Exactly. That's and, what makes at least it funny. At least Tony Stark is smart and like super smart and technologically savvy and can build things and you know built his he suit. A panic attacks though. Built his suit in in a terrorist cave in Afghanistan, right? Tony Stark built this with a tub of scrap. Remember? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, um, I mean, what's that guy's name? Him, um, oh man, oh man, and um, what's his name? Him, the, the actor that plays that guy, hi, a bearded guy, bald guy, hi, from the first movie. He, what's his name? Dude, do you not realize that's the <laughs> same guy? That plays the main character in the movie we're talking about tonight. Do you not realize it's the same guy? He was bald in Iron Man. Shut up. Do you not realize <laughs> that it's the same stinking guy? No, I don't. And you're sitting because here, they sound very, very different. And you're sitting here going, again, who's, who, who's that guy? You just watched a two-hour movie right before the podcast with him in it as the main character. <laughs> Shut up. I am bad with faces. Oh my gosh! This is the, this and again you blow and the guy dude. Was bold he, it just blows me away sometimes. With, just blows me away sometimes. Anyway, accent. He's also known as Jeff Bridges. Thank you. Also known as the Big Lebowski. Who? So, the movie The Big Lebowski. He's the dude. He's the I, dude I, in the. I, I, I don't. I don't know what that is, Dad. The dude abides, man. The dude abides. I, I don't. Should you're drink a white gibberish to me. Anyway, it's a movie. It's a, it's one of those okay. movies that that everybody's supposed to see. It's like you know a classic movie, whatever. I frankly saw it for the first time a few weeks ago and wasn't that impressed. Probably because it had been hyped to me for so many years, I had higher expectations. But anyway, so those are our answers to the geek question. We spent way too much time on that, <laughs> including oh, a yeah. bunch of chickens. So we we didn't have we didn't have Howard the Duck we had Chase the Chicken, so um, so anyway all right so how about we talk about our movie I hope I can pull that stuff up so um, you want to talk about our movie sure all right so it's time for the next installment of roll for credits. <clears throat> uh. All right, let me pull this up here real quick. So, we watched... Um, now, for those of you that may have remembered us rolling for a movie last time... Um, oh, there we go. Because um, cause what we do is we roll, and, and we'll do it tonight for next for the next uh, episode. We roll dice to determine what streaming service we use, what category or what genre of movie, and then we roll 100-sided dice and just randomly pick a movie in, in that list of that category. And we picked a movie called uh, The Art of War with Wesley Snipes last time. Uh, but I try to keep this as a uh, family-friendly uh, podcast. And uh, with one particular John Wick movie that we watched and actually reviewed, 
um, I violated that that rule uh, and decided I would never do that again and reserved the right to switch movies if I needed to. And about 20 minutes into this, by the time I'd gotten 20 minutes into this movie, I'm like, yeah, this is just too much. Too many things that happened that just kind of made me go, eh, no. Mm -mm. So yeah. I made the decision to re-roll, stayed with Netflix, stayed in the action-adventure category, and just rolled for a new movie. And so the movie we got was uh, 2014... 2014 movie Seventh Son starring um, uh, Jeff Bridges, Juliet Moore, um, Alicia Vikander, Ben Barnes. Um, and I think, hold on, I want to say, let me pull this guy up here one sec. Yeah. The guy that played his, um, if I remember Tusk. right, because, no, 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 not, not Tusk. The guy that played his, his apprentice at the beginning that got killed. Yeah, that dude. Yeah, William. his name is Kit Harrington, and if I remember right, um, yeah, he's much better known now as Jon Snow from Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, that's Jon Snow from Game of Thrones, and when I saw him, I'm like, of course, I don't watch Game of Thrones. Um, I, first of all, I don't have HBO, and second of all, too much gratuitous stuff that I just didn't want to have, didn't want to deal with, so I've never watched Game of Thrones. Uh, <clears throat> but I know who Jon Snow is, and I'm going, whoa, dude, you really, <laughs> you really went up in the world from being on this movie and dying in the first 20 minutes to being Jon Snow in Game of Thrones. 10 minutes. Yeah, it probably was 10 minutes, wasn't it? So, anyway, so uh, it's an action, you know, action adventure fantasy kind of movie. And the premise of the movie, if I can pull it up here, says when Mother Malkin, the queen of evil witches, witches, am I right? Um, who was played by Juliet Moore, escapes the pit she was imprisoned in by professional monster hunter Spook decades ago and kills his apprentice, he recruits young Tom, the seventh son of the seventh son, to help him. So, Jeff Bridges plays this guy, John, uh, John Gregory, who is a seventh son of a seventh son, which is a local spook, what they call it. Okay, if you've ever played Witcher, the Witcher series, Witcher 3, which I know is, is Mitch's absolute favorite game. Um, I'm kidding, Connor. You should know how much he hates that game. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, it's, it's kind of like too that. damn long. <clears throat> well, I mean, Witcher is basically a monster hunter. Right, that's what he does. He hunts monsters. He hunts witches. That's basically John Gregory. He's basically Witcher. <clears throat> He's basically Geralt. Um, and that's what he does. He hunts monsters. Geralt he hunts witches. Really, yeah. He hunts monsters. He hunts witches, and that kind of stuff. And he always has an apprentice trying to bring him up. Well, he's lost several apprentices because they keep dying. And so he goes and gets this uh, this new guy he's that he knows she has tusk that he knows is a seventh son of a seventh son to be his new apprentice to hunt down. <clears throat> Mother Malkin, who is this evil witch played by Juliet Moore. Turns out, John Gregory is the one that imprisoned her in this pit years ago, and she broke free. And her, the whole premise of the movie is, she is trying to gather up all of her fellow witches that were her minions, and they're trying to get her, her medallion of power back, and then when the blood moon comes, then she's going to have her stone. Back. Yeah, she's going to have her power back, and she's going to take over everything and kill everybody and all that kind of stuff. So it's More this general classic movie type thing. It's it's your you, it's your your cookie cutter fantasy ad, action adventure movie. Good good guys, bad guys. A good guy had a connection to the bad guy. <laughs> oh, so um, this this movie I don't know if you've ever seen Seventh Son, Mitch, but it's basically a Witcher movie. Okay. Um, the guy that J Jeff Bridges With plays is, witches. is is basically Geralt of Rivia, and they're hunting these witches, including Juliet Moore's character. So that's the premise of the movie. You know, he's bringing up um, his apprentice. Uh, his apprentice. There's some stuff going on. His mom gives him a medallion before he leaves. Uh, he keeps having these visions of things, and so you know that there's something more going on with him. Turns out he's kind of like the chosen one. Again, another cliche. <clears throat> Not really and a then chosen it, one. He's some. He's he's just the son. He's just the seventh son of a seventh son. Son, which already gives him a superstitious 
thing against monsters, but he's also the son of a witch. Right. So it turns out his mom is a witch, and he didn't know that. That's yeah. Um, but she's a good witch. That's what gave him his yeah. Uh, she's she um she's like um kind of like a white witch. Glenn, so to, um, so to speak. Um, Glinda Good Witch in yeah. uh, in Wizard of Oz is, uh, is <clears throat> right. That right? Yeah, it's something like that. So anyway. So they're going along, and he's training up his new apprentice and getting him ready to fight. And th- the witch has another witch who's like her second in command, and she's like, uh, "We've been spying her sister." Yeah, and, and we've been spying on Spook. They called him, but it was Gregory. It's been spying on him, and it turns out it's her daughter, who is played up by Alicia Vikander, and. Uh, and so the sister's daughter, not not right. Mother Malkin. The sister's daughter, and of course she and the apprentice fall in love, and there's this whole okay. He's and he's a witch killer, or he's being tra- trained up to be a witch killer, and she's a witch, and there's that whole thing so, and all that stuff. So kind of like Jennifer and and Geralt, exactly. Again, <laughs> Witcher in movie form. Okay, and that, that's that's one of the things I'll have to comment about the movie in, in a few minutes. But so that's that's the basic premise, and of course, bad stuff happens, people die. Um, there's this conflict between the two young love, young in love people that are on opposite sides of this battle, and what are they going to do? There's a twist that there's a twist connection between Gregory and Mother Malkin, although it wasn't really a twist. You saw it coming. That whole thing. Um, and in the end, the witches die, the, the, the old guy goes off into the sunset to retire, the young guy takes over as the new falcon guy. As, um, as the new spook. Right, and, and then he says to the witch, am I ever going to, she says, am I going to see you again? I'll be back, we'll see each other again, and then he leaves. You know, it's just... She leaves. She leaves him. Whatever. So they they separate, knowing we'll see each other again. Kind of stuff. just such cliche. Just just it was. It was. And Tusk is there just vibing. Eh, that was just a side character. Anyway, um, it was hey, just hey, basically Tusk one. Was a badass. It was basically one two hour. It was really more like an hour and a half, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. how how much was it? Let's see. It is an hour and forty two minutes. So it's basically an hour and two, 42 minute fantasy movie cliche. Right? Yep. That's what I have to say about it. So, is there anything else that you want to make? We kind of talked about the plot. I don't want to go too long on the plot because we tend to do that. We do a deep dive on the plot and basically go scene by scene. I don't want to do that. So, let's just jump in and talk about the movie. What were your thoughts about the movie, about the actors? Give me your thoughts. Let's just talk about it for a while. Uh, let's see. This is getting empty. Um,. Cliche story, cliche characters, uh, um, odd choice of high value characters, kind of, um, kind of like Jeff Bridges, Olivia Moore. I'm sorry, not, 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 not Olivia Moore. Juliet Moore. What's her name? Juliet Moore. Juliet Moore. Yeah. Or um, and um, and that freaking Dijaman Hansu. Dude, I love that guy. Oh man, I love that guy. <laughs> the um, the actor or the character? No, the actor. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's been in some good stuff. Let's also, see. Most recently, he's um he he's been in um, um, Captain Marvel and Guardians of the Galaxy. If you want to see a movie that is hard to watch but is a must watch, starring him, it was the first thing I ever saw him in. It may have been the first movie he did. Nineteen ninety seven is a movie called Amistad, and it was about it was about the slave trade. And him being a slave and and uh-huh. and trying to and and earning his freedom, and he you know I mean it's just this great story and I think if I remember right I think it's based on kind a like true roots. St- no, and it's basically if I remember right it's based on a true story, but there's a scene in that movie. I know I'm chasing a chicken here. There's a scene in that movie that is accurate about the transporting of human beings as slaves on ships to America to be sold into slavery from Africa that is one of the most painful movies, I mean, painful scenes you can ever watch. They're basically laid on 
wooden bunk beds, but it's basically a bunk bed that, that runs the entire length of the ship. So there's basically bottom bunk and a top bunk and multiple rows of those things. And they're just laid completely naked side by side like luggage or like boxes that are being shipped. Sardines. And chained together the entire trip. And, you know, some of them die and they stay dead right next to the people that are still living. People are throwing up and sick. It's just, I mean, it's heart-wrenching to watch that movie, but it's a, it's a very powerful movie. So if you ever want to watch a good drama movie, Amistad is a good one to watch. Starring good. Thank you, that starring that that guy. I can't pronounce his name. The Jaiman Hansu. Yeah, that guy. Jaiman yeah, yeah. Hansu. Mm-hmm. It's not yeah. that hard to say. Yeah. Him. Him. Mr. Hansu. Just yep. say it. Yep. Mr. Hansu. Yep. Got it. Okay, fine. Cool. So um my feelings about the movie were that it's tr- animated. It has some decent animation, computer animation in it, you're right. Um it not the best, but good. It's like it tried to take parts of a lot of great pieces of media to make their movie. Okay, and you had together. Okay. So you had kind of the Witcher feel to it, right? Kind of. Okay. You had um you had these great panoramic landscape views that they would show, you know, this grand evil versus good kind of thing, kind of Lord of the Rings kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. When when Gregory took uh, Ben, his app- new apprentice, to his house to do all of his training and stuff, you know what my first thought was? Tom. Tom. He's, uh, oh, he's, Tom. He's, he Tom. Tom, not Tom. Ben. Okay. You know what my first thought was when they went to his house? What? That was hearth. That was a hearth fire expansion in Skyrim, and they just built his house. I kept looking <laughs> for the library and all that kind of stuff. It it had the feel of a Skyrim expansion house. Complete with a, sm- a melting smelting pot right in the middle with lava right in the middle of the house. And I'm sitting there going, so it's like they took parts of all these different things. Lord of the Rings, Witcher, uh, Skyrim, all these different kind of things. And put them together to make a movie. I don't think they did any of them especially well. I, it wasn't a bad movie. I mean, we've seen bad fantasy movies. Okay. Oh, yeah. But it was just pretty predictable and cookie cutter. Um, and, eh, I mean, it's one of those movies where you can just sit and enjoy it and not expect anything out of it and just b- turn your brain off and just watch. It was okay. I would have been upset if I'd paid money to see it. You know, although technically I did because I, re- uh, I paid for Netflix. But anyway, <laughs> that's another story. <laughs> so. I just, I, it just seemed like they tried to do a lot of different things and didn't do any of them especially well. So, uh, that's, I, I got a quote here that I wrote this down as I was watching the movie. It felt, it felt like a movie that was completely in between. Do you, do you understand what I'm trying to say? No. Okay. It was in between good and bad. It was in between these different things that they pulled together, but it wasn't it wasn't fully in the Lord of the Rings area, it wasn't fully in the Witcher area, it wasn't fully in the Skyrim area. It was constantly everything they were doing was kind of in between these things they were trying to do. Okay? It never landed anywhere. Do you understand what I'm saying? It just never seemed to yeah. land. It never seemed to hit. So I guess if you like, you know, fantasy movies and we like fantasy movies you know we do do. and and um so am am i angry that i watched it am i upset that i watched it no but just neutral about it yeah it just it was literally it just meh i literally felt meh about the movie i don't i you know i don't have much else to say i mean that I should have been warned when the when the the Metacritic or the Metascore from critics was thirty out of a hundred, and the average viewer user rating is five point five out of ten. I mean, even the viewers that are always better give better reviews, better ratings than the critics do. It was only five point five out of ten. Yeah. 
So it it wasn't the and and what was up with Jeff Bridges' voice? He literally sounded sounded like like a drunken slurring Sean Connery. He sounded like he had marbles in his mouth the whole time. And just talk like this. And I think, I honestly think that. Um, oh wait 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 wait. wait. Dad. We're out of time. Our time is up. Our hour is up. Dad, so we got to start wrapping up here. Dad, I'm going to keep quick. it short. Yeah, go ahead. Um, well, I know we're going to run long, but <laughs> um, um, uh, do you, um, uh, do you remember Hellboy? Yeah. Um, um, you know the guy that played Hellboy's dad, the old guy. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I, you yeah. know, I've never seen the entire Hellboy movie. I've seen parts of it. And I've never seen the whole movie. It's another one of those movies I need to see, and I know Mitch is going to hate me because I haven't seen it yet. I'm sure, but even I've seen Hellboy. I've just, I've just never yeah, gotten I mean, around Hellboy to watching one them. and two, not the remake though. I haven't seen the remake. I, anyway, I have not, I have not seen only, them yet. Only I keep Ron meaning, Perlman can be Hellboy. I keep only meaning to, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, it's just one of those movies anyway. that I've just never gotten around to see. Anyway, what? Okay, so um, he played. Okay. Um. Oh man. Okay. Okay. I I got I got to look it up real quick. I okay. Gotta, while you're doing that, but I, I I honestly think that there's something up with Jeff Bridges' voice because his mouth, the way his jaw and his mouth moves, it almost looks like he's losing his front teeth or his front, his top lip, top jo- part of his jaw is kind of sinking in because his his chin seems to be jutting out more, and I think that might be something that's really going on with him because when he played John Wayne's character in the remake of True Grit. Looked kind of the same then, and had kind of the same voice then. It just seems kind of worse now. So I'm just wondering if, as he's getting older, his his jaw and his mouth is kind of getting old and getting this weird formation to it, and uh, it's just he sounds like that. But he literally sounds like he's talking with marbles in his mouth all the time, and it's just. If that was your choice for your role, I think it wasn't a great choice because we couldn't understand half of what you said. John Hurt. Okay, I know John Hurt. Yeah. Um, 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 Jeff Bridges in um, in, um, in this movie sounds said um since sounded like um like a deeper voiced John Hurt. Yeah. With um with with that accent and 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 slight like slur and everything. Yeah. Um. That's what I was trying to figure out. Okay. And here's a fun fact. Oh, you're going to give a fun fact now. We're out of time? No. Uh, Alicia, <laughs> Alicia Vikander that played Alice, that played the daughter yeah. witch. Do you know her, who her husband is? Ron Palmer? No, no. Uh, think superhero. Think, uh, e- think X-Men. Uh, think, Cyclops? Think the younger X-Men, X-Men First Class, that... Group of character, group uh, of actors. Banshee. Mm-mm. One of the Magneto? major, one of the, the Michael Fass, Michael Fassbender is her husband. They've been married since 2017, and I'm because I and I didn't know that until literally just a few weeks ago. I just happened to be scrolling through some news feed, and I saw a picture of them together. And I'm like, wait, why are they together? What? They're m- married. I, so yeah. I think they have kids together and the whole thing. So anyway, do um do do um do celebrity marriages ever really work out? The the only su- successful one I, I can think of is, is Robert Williams and his wife, and Tom Hanks and, and his wife. Tom Hanks only and Rita Wilson is is one. Um, Paul Newman and uh, Joanne Woodward. They I mean they they stayed married until he died of cancer. Um, there's a few out there. There's a few out there, but by and large, they don't. Yeah. And I've always wondered what that's about, and I really think that a lot of what happens with those is that they're beautiful, rich people, and they hang out with beautiful, rich people, and they hang out with beautiful, rich people that spend their lives playing roles, and so they tend to have fake lives. And it's like, okay, I'm beautiful and rich, and you're beautiful and rich, and I'm attracted to you, and you're attracted to me. Hey, let's get married. 
and and and, and, and it becomes a big a big publicity thing that that uh, that boosts both of them and then um and, and then eventually when um when uh, when they get a divorce it again boosts their well their it, publicity. It, it's it's and it's it's like okay um i it's like Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston you know they were together and then he he did Mr. and Mrs. Smith with uh, with um Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie, and they hooked up, and then they were together for f- several years, um, but it didn't last. You know, I, I think they jumped from beautiful person to beautiful person, and, and the thing about marriage is, it's about a commitment that it's about who the person is, and it's not about a commitment to that person, right? Yeah. Um, and I think that's hard for that to happen and stick to it in Hollywood. It takes yeah. rare, rare cases for that to happen. Do you know what movie that uh, Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson met on? It, Saving Private Ryan? No. Way before that. I, um, Forrest Gump? No, way before that. Those, um, Toy Story? I don't know. <laughs> okay. you've, heard, you've heard me, you've heard me do this line before to see if this helps you. You're a big kitty. Yes, you are. Um, Tom Tuttle volunteers? from Tacoma. Tom, yes, there you go. Tom Tuttle from Tacoma, volunteers. Washington. Yes. Tom Tuttle from I Tacoma, want a Washington. I playback. Well, you, we could have. We could have. But you, you, and, and if next time you come down, that would be a good one for us to do. You know, that'd be an easy one to do. All I got to do is get you some khaki shorts and a khaki shirt and a Washington... Washington State jacket, which I can get because I checked on on eBay and could get you one. And then all I got to do is wear some short jeans and a white shirt with a like a red bandana tied around my, you know. But anyway, we just have to find somebody to play at too. Who are we gonna get to play mm-hmm. him? You know the little the little guy from Asian Can- dude? the little Asian dude. So anyway, yeah, I I, I don't God. know any. Where did any how did how did we, how did we end up on volunteers? How did we end up here? We um um me um me bringing up up on um, the why why celebrity couples never work. No, it was started with me, because I said who is Alicia Vikander married to? Michael yeah. Fassbender. I'm the one that started this chicken chase. Oh. So, so anyway. Um, okay. Oh, oh, one more fun fact. One more fun fact. Yeah. Did you know Robin Williams was a gamer? Yes, I did, and that's why he named his daughter Zelda. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's a huge game. I, I think that's a, I think that's yeah. a, that's a cool thing. Yeah. You know. So, um, as far as the movie goes, look if you I like mean, if you like fantasy movies and you're not looking, you're not you're not going to have high expectations for this movie. I mean, it's it's good. The graphics are good. Juliet Moore's good in everything she does. She's always really good in in what she does. Um, you know, everybody else was like, eh, okay, but um, you're gonna need subtitles. You're definitely gonna need subtitles for, Jeff for Gregory Bridges. for Jeff Bridges' character, um, uh, but I, the computer the computer animation I thought was pretty good of the dragons. Oh, yeah. um, so, but if, but if you're expecting a mashup of Witcher and Lord of the Rings and and Skyrim, don't not done well, then this is the well, movie. For, oh, then the, yes. then this yeah. is the movie for you. <laughs> so, there you go. So that's Seventh Son from 2014, starring Jeff Bridges and Juliet Moore as the two kind of main characters. Um, so there you go. So now we need to roll for our other movie and get out of here because oh, yeah. I'm thirsty tired. and you're tired and I've got to go hop on the Xbox. So let's roll for some some movies. Okay. All right. And again, because I like the way it sounds to roll all the dice at once. Of course. All right, and I got a 14 because this is for the service. So a 14, according to our little little chart here, is Netflix. All right, Netflix. and then I'm gonna roll a 10-sided dice to find out the, the the category or the genre, and I got an eight horror. Yay! Oh no, I I, I hate Yay. The movies. Um, not yeah. not a huge fan, but okay. Um. And then we're going to roll some percentage dice to find out which one in that list we're going to watch. And I rolled a, I rolled a sixty-four. So I am going to go. I'm and away from my favorite number. I'm, I'm going to. Oh, oh. 
<laughs> Two words for you. <laughs> Family, Family friendly. friendly. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, so I want to go and I want to try to f- I want to find the 64th movie in the horror genre on Netflix and then we'll talk about it. So I will be right back. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we're going to watch a movie called Our House from 2018. Our House. Our House huh. from 2018. And the little tagline is, A young genius accidentally invents a device that amplifies the paranormal activity within his family's house, possibly bringing back the spirits of loved ones and unleashing things far worse. Well, okay then. Now, it's PG-13, so I don't think it's going to be too terribly scary or anything like that because it's PG-13. So there's only so much they can do. You know, there's only so much gore they can have. It's probably going to be more of a psychological, just kind of scary, jump scare kind of thing. But anyway, I don't know. But I think it's a, I think it's a a, a a Netflix original, so or Netflix exclusive. I don't know if it's original or not. But anyway, so that's what we're going to watch for next time. All right. All so right. that's all we've got, guys. We we did run over time, but not too bad. Uh, it's been two weeks. Uh, we were completely disorganized tonight. Sorry about that. I don't know what he's doing on his head over there on that screen. Um, <laughs> he looks like Jordy LaForge with his little visor <laughs> on, um, but a large white version of Jordy LaForge. So, <laughs> so anyway, um, so we're we're going to get out of here. For everybody that came in and hung out with us and chatted for a while, I really appreciate it. It, get, it just makes things a whole lot more interesting when we have somebody oh, to chat gosh. with. Um and we'll be back next Friday night uh, at 8 o'clock again, and we'll be watching horror movies. We'll have another geek geek question. Um, we'll probably do some celebratory things for Connor's birthday because it's just a few days away after that after that Friday and go from there. I'll, I'll so, be a quarter of a century. That's right. So, that, And what does that mean? Cheaper car insurance rates, closer to getting your own health insurance, closer to financial independence from mom and dead. Yay! I'm I, I'm really financially. I'm independent. just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So anyway, so that's all we got, guys. So thanks for watching, and uh, until next time, always remember, stay nerdy, my friends. <laughs> what, what happened? What happened? I I moved too much, and now my, now my neck is stuck. Oh my gosh, that hurts. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah, I, I can't Come on move the head. Oh Come on, move god. the head. Just break I that neck in. Just break the no. neck in. Come on. It hurts. Come on. Ah. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. Come on. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Guys, y'all have a good night. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh... You're still here? It's over. Go home. <laughs>